G'day mates. I hate, I hate doing that. It makes everyone in Australia absolutely hate me. We are back and we are in Melbourne, Australia. I haven't been in Australia in four years. I got banned from the country for going street drifting. Long story, we won't talk about that. The flight, we had a bit of a situation. There was an emergency landing for someone that had medical issues and we were stuck for over 24 hours. It was awful, terrible. We were in Hawaii. It was actually amazing. It was amazing because we don't ever actually just go places with no agendas and it was super cool. And we want to go to Hawaii for a really long time. So I'm stoked that happened. Now we're here in Melbourne. We are at Keep It Reads brand new headquarters and I'm about to be reunited with my 180SX that I haven't seen four years and a lot's changed. <laughs> so this place is brand new? Yes, two weeks ago I think we got the keys, so we've just been busy decking it out and obviously organising the event and all that. Here it is, um, pretty stoked. We've sort of moved from 10 minutes down the road. Our old factory, we had um, four small factories and were quite crammed, so um, this came up and it was perfect. It's very cool, we're going to get the full tour after, but in addition to moving in two weeks, also built me an entirely brand new car. <laughs> yes. It was hard to convince him, but he's like, no, it's perfect, man. Yeah, all right, well, let's, let, let's show the car and then we can explain and give a little bit of backstory. Just to be clear to you, this isn't YouTube magic. I have not seen the car yet and I'm, I'm very excited to see it. This is the beautiful unveiling room. What is this, what is the purpose of this room? Um, is it a car wash? Um, it was a paint booth as well, I think. Oh. Another, I don't know, it's been a few things, this factory. I'm stoked to be too. We're gonna see me appreciate the brand new paint that you laid down. <laughs> I can feel it, it feels good. Yep, hold it. Yep. Oh, we've got um, Dale right here, he's, um, he's done all the painting, so we're going to unveil it together and you can stand right here and get reactions. If you don't, <laughs> like, it, if you don't like it, just let me know, we'll put the cover back. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll take it <laughs> Alright, ready? Yep. Six, two, one, three. Color oh, spot on. So just, just to add some, some context to, the car got hammered after I left, Luke was taking care of it, and the plan was always to fix it when I came back, and I just, I hadn't been able to get back here, so the car just kinda, it got forgotten about until it was time to come back and drive it again, and I thought it was a lot better than it was, so I was like, oh, can't we just like paint a bumper or something? Yeah, I'll just tow a line, <laughs> yeah. like just, maybe up the boost a couple of pierces. Yeah, because I thought it was, it was, I it thought I left it ready to go. And I was like, bro, your driving has changed in four years, I think you might want something a little bit more spicy, so. Here we are. There, and there's a, there's a lot more than just paint on this thing. So where do, where do we start? I reckon we go straight to under the bottom door. Yeah, so okay. I, and I need, to, I need to give some background on this too. So the track that we're driving, Calder Park, you told me it was a third gear track. So two big problems with that. One, I can't shift into third gear consistently with an SR20 gearbox. We fix that. What do we do? Um, throw a brand new R34, what do you call them? You just turbo, turbo box, yeah, like the big, big box. box yeah. Not like an R25 big box. Yeah. Big box. <laughs> so, <laughs> brand spanking and big box. <laughs> and um, yeah, so obviously a few sponsors have um, helped out with this build. One of the major ones was Skevis Racing. So they did a whole engine and they did their gearbox conversion, absolutely everything, and did an absolutely killer job. So we got some pretty spicy in here. We'll show it first and we'll talk about that, I reckon. It started as a gearbox, and then once we had the gearbox, we're like, all right, well, I can get into third gear. Now do I have enough power to keep spinning the wheels in third <laughs> yeah, gear? Yeah, yeah. So Jimmy, Grant, Colette, they all got like 500 horsepower, and this, what it, do we even know what it made before, like 300? Uh, I reckon it was like horsepower, yeah, I reckon around 300, because I drove it, I gave it a quick test, because I was like... And he texted you, like, this thing's slow, I was like, no, it's fast, dude. It's I just good. wanted to know what I was in for before we, like, touch this thing. I wanted to see, like, will it have enough power, will it have the right steering, lock, and all that? I was like, bro, this thing is no chance gonna do second gear. It's like, it felt like it was just like kind of dropping off boost. Like the gate spring wasn't there. Anyway, it's full. Oh. <laughs> Wait, uh, fully built. Ooh. Spicy bag. The bag was not painted before. No, it was just like. Okay, that's new. The under the hood's painted too. It was like too. falling off flat. Sheesh. Spitting in just a Florida car. It's actually better. The problem. <laughs> that well, yes, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic cover. <laughs> So Skevis Racing, um, we did some clips with him. If you want to see like the build and stuff like that, um, jump on our YouTube and we have a chat with him about what he did. But it's, he calls it an SR400, so it's basically an extremely reliable 400 kilowatt, so 550 horsepower or something set up. 
Um, so it's got like the cams, the rockers, because I think they're a mm -hmm. common failing thing. Mm -hmm. um, forge pistons, nitto rods, nitto gasket. There's a whole list of things. I yeah. can't remember exactly, but it's spicy. <laughs> we can put a parts list in the description. The important thing is he is like the SR go-to guy here. And even though the engine probably, like you can make 500 horsepower in a stock SR. The problem is now they're what, 35 years old? That's crazy. They're so old that you just don't know what you're gonna get. And it would be really embarrassing if I went and blew my motor up like the second round of my own event. Mm -hmm. So now we're. Ready to go. Yeah, because we already had the good turbo on there, the G25 550, that it thing will, turbo. it feels. Yeah, I took it for a quick little lap, and um, she's punchy now. How about that? <laughs> Michael, <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you like it? I love it, now. what do you think oh, about shit, it, man. sir? I think it looks great. Oh, yeah. yeah, It looks just like the one at home. <laughs> but the one at home, I think, has like a zip tied mass airflow sensor. Yes. Yeah, this one doesn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just saying, Jason, you did a great job, but you're missing the zip tied mass airflow sensor Hell yeah. from the original car. Yeah, it would have been funny if we put a map on it and just drilled out everything on the inside just so it looked old school. <laughs> just so it looked old school. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It it's looks cool. Late. So is that an uh, RB20? <laughs> uh, it's a uh, four runner. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, definitely not a four runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is turbo's sweet. on the wrong side. Yeah. What's up with these? Yeah, so 185 uh, hooked us up and it set them straight down. I think we're in Queensland. And how's those beveled edges though? God <laughs> fresh pole. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. God that's <laughs> <laughs> some fresh Wait, air Where's polish. the welder? <laughs> is that a polish on top? Do they coat that on the top or is that just polish? No, it's just polish. Pure polish. So I should say TJ helped build the car with Jess. Jess is not here. Jess and TJ workshop boys. Big, Let's big shout out to the Keeping Good team. This was, okay, so building a car is, is labor, yes, but the headache of sourcing parts and trying to coordinate everything, especially with a tight timeline, is probably one of the most difficult things. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? Yeah, for sure, and then making it work at the end, too. Yeah, so obviously we need to do a couple other things for it to make more power now, too. So we got the PRP coil kit. What else we got? Oh, Link now, finally got a proper ECU in it, so it's got a Link ECU. I'm very excited about that. Where's yeah. Jimmy? Oh, he's running from the, from the car with his laptop right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Raceworks, uh, uh, one of our major sponsors, uh, jumped on board with the, the fuel system. Um, so they did the, the rail and everything like that, injectors and to yeah. fuel it up on the E85. All the lines nice. and the yep. silicons and whatever else. Phoenix, that's another one I forgot about, was um, the boys in New Zealand sent over the radiator and a fresh front mount intercooler for you. I like the black. It sucks that like, before my car back home was the nicer one, now I need to make that one nicer. <laughs> it's just going to be a constant back and forth. Yeah. It was. It's, it's just like it, I'm always torn with that car because it still kind of has the nostalgia of being like the first car that I built. So like the rougher on the edges stuff, like yeah. the zip tie yeah. and the map. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I have a feeling that this one's going to be a bit punchy than you want at home. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She's punchy. Yeah, it's weird. That car, <laughs> that car is really good, and like the tune on it is not very good back home. Like now that I actually know something, it's, it's all extremely you've got rich. Oh, you've got a Jimmy over there. So no wonder. Oh, this is new. Yeah, so you did. It was a new event. For some reason, we can't find mufflers at all. Um, TJ, I know about it. For some reason, we can't get cannons, sorry. Huh. Cannon mufflers. So we just had to repair the old one that you'd smack into the wall. Yeah. So we just sort of a bit of a tip there. I spent half a day looking for a new cannon, and then I was like, oh, I'm just going to have to put some stainless on the end of it. So <laughs> just welded someone. I love the color match stickers. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a nice touch. Kept it kind of street, didn't want to go overboard. We got the thing tinted, I think that was like a must. That was only just yesterday, I think it got tinted. I'm pumped on this. It's gonna look sick when it's inside your car. It's gonna look sick with a bunch of zebra stripes down the side of it. Yeah, you better, you better watch out. Boom! I'm driving. Those aren't my same zebra. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you, I'm the same brand and then change about how you fit. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Good size. Yeah, that's a shot bag. She's size. tight. That's good. Yeah. I'm just asking, jeez, I can't ask a with it? No! <laughs> yeah, your old seats were a little bit sun damaged, so got you some fresh Yeah, and, and they were fake. And, and they were reclinables, and fake reclinables are like one of the worst things. Yeah. Like, <laughs> a little bit wobbly. You, you never know when they're just gonna break. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so stoked about the gearbox. That was my it's, biggest fear was just like misshifting and losing a battle from misshift. Yeah. That actually used to be my problem that I always had. Anyone that watched my channel back in the day, my CD gearbox, it was so easy to miss gears. And like I would go all the way to competition, misshift it, game over. But not only that, now you got some powers. I don't think it would have liked it too much, those little SR boxes. Yeah. That's also the problem. Once you turn the boost up too much, so, can I start it? I guess so. Is it going to stink out the room? Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Something's 
got some big hands. Yeah, big hands in. Yeah, it's it's custom ground pants. He does them himself in the shop. <laughs> Same as the one back home. F you! <laughs> F you Mike! <laughs> I showed him us. You gotta look. My pearl isn't this 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 pearl. <laughs> is it mixed in the paint or is it a tri-stage? No, no, it's um, yellow base and then pearl over the top and then clear. So three layer pearl. Okay. Yeah. So it's probably and it's, uh, it's hammer coatings elite show clear and it's it's unreal. It's really good. I like this color better with the pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can you cut that out? No. <laughs> Send me other ones. <laughs> I just forgot about my favorite thing in the car that I totally forgot about. Give me a look at my mirrors. What I actually asked real Ganondorf's on. Yeah, before they were fake. <laughs> it's just so weird to see. It's like Inception. It's weird. <laughs> hey Jimmy, do you have your laptop? Uh no I don't. The, the only way to finally get Adam's cream hatch uh, on a standalone is to build one in Australia. <laughs> So, oh my what god, the, the what? Seat, like the seats and everything. Dude, it's a good rig. This is so weird. And this, <laughs> this one's got an RB25 gearbox. I'm stoked about that. Big box, hell yeah. This is so weird, bro. And it's just as like pale as yours, too. Your, your car's a lot paler in person. Yeah. Than I'm, like, so I was the first one to drive your, your uh, original one. That means I get the, the first one to drive this one, right? Yeah. Come on, Colette, let's go have fun. Imagine. All right, take the good. Hey, bring it back in one piece. I don't want to take this from you. This is your moment. <laughs> I'm like, I'm here for it. Colette's like, my seatbelt, my seatbelt. Alright, so technically I did already take it for first drive, but we're gonna reenact it again because GoPros keep failing on me. That's so annoying. But it's like Grant hasn't been in it yet, so he's I'm gonna, excited. He's gonna feel the spice. The spiciness. Big fan. 
It's sick, right? It's Dude, a good just box. like being able to shift smoothly at any RPM in an SR with a five speed, like I like having a five speed in an SR versus God, it's so vibrant. Uh, uh -huh, solid engine mounts, brother. Like the CD is just too short for me. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, for sure. Like I like having long gears just because the engines make so much torque. There's some cool stuff here. I'm gonna give you guys a, a quick scoop because there's so much content. So many YouTubers here so filming. Many tubers. My camera's been down. <laughs> Has it? Yeah. What? What is, this is Jimmy's daily here? Yeah, me and Grant, our, our buddy Mike, his girlfriend Tara uh, lent us this for the week, which is really, really cool. It's a typical Aussie spec NA plus T. Uh, they're which, good. They're good, it's great. No, we, no one does that. I mean, people could barely keep turbo RBs alive, so. Just saying, you know, my C4 is NAT. You and should it's, turn the boost up. I should, but I think I need to do a head gasket. I did drop in studs, left stock head gasket, so I think I'm like, I left it like 20 pounds. Yeah, it seems head gasket is the cheat code for them, yeah. 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 But head gasket, studs, is good fuel. How cool is the shop for like being just built? Oh, it's beautiful, and I think it's pretty efficient too, because you see a lot of shops that are just, I don't know, not efficient, but the way things are displayed is pretty cool. Workshops, offices. Place for the kids to say. I kind of want to. I kind of want to run upstairs and show that. I'm just jealous because I feel like I've been in the compound so long that I still haven't had a chance to like make it my own how I want. Because there's just so many areas. You're like there though. I'm getting there. You're, you're a busy man. Oh, so. I can't wait to show you what just happened. The extensions. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be sick. I, I'm gonna buy an E36. So I'm, Comment one. below if you want Jimmy to buy another E36. Just compound E36. Love that. Look like how cool this area is. It's sick. So apparently, I think he said it's used, this was like a brewery or like a pub at one point, and then a car shop. Like a, a performance shop and a brewery at one point. I don't know what, at what, what point, but. This is one car that like, I never thought I would like so much. This is an R31 wagon. Mm -hmm. It's gangster. Barra powered. Okay, this is Jason's car. Do you know if he's driving it this weekend? He is. This is what he's competing in. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. We're done. We're done. We're done. Yep. It is epic. It looks sick. Sick livery, but. One of the coolest things about this car, which, yeah, you yeah, know what I'm going for? Just, which I want to try. It has a dual setup uh, hydro. So when you push down, it's actually teed into the front brake. So instead of left foot braking, you can leave your foot on the clutch and be ready. And then this is a hydro. Yeah, isn't that sick? So you can left, basically left foot brake while being able to clutch kick still. <laughs> How crazy is that? I kind of want to try it. What? Same. I feel like this would be really sick on my E36 Stinky. <laughs> Hey Grant, if Jimmy gets an E36, are you down to get an E36? I'm gonna buy one before he does. Jimmy's gonna. Hey, Jimmy's got more money than I do. He's he's also gonna show up with a link on his. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Stock ECUs, Jim. Nope. 
I'm gonna go high compression and flip. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine. LZ move. That's an LZ move. Yeah, it's an LZ move. I'm already, I'm already plotting. He put the sneaky Pete system in it and he's blowing no, our doors he, in. No, he would put big cams, high compression, and then he would dirty the engine up so it looks like it was yeah, never... Yeah, but like, he put a 50 shot and hide it in the spare tire and not tell any of us, too. Yeah, he'd hide it in the brake booster. Yeah, yeah. and then he would, we would be on all the same tires, but he would like put like the glue on them or something to and make then he, And then he would take the interior out, cut all the spare metal out and put yeah. the interior Sound back in. Sound deadening out, but yeah. then put the carpet back in. Yeah. yeah. These are some really good ideas. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's got some crazy giveaway cars. Some that have already been won that still need to be delivered. He gave this away tonight. Yeah, 1,500 horsepower GTR. I don't know how I would feel about giving that away to somebody. <laughs> I'm just bummed that I didn't get to drive it. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Man of the hour. Anything you want to say about anything? Vlogging's over. No. All right, yeah, never mind. Get out of here. <laughs> this is another another car of his. I don't know what it is. It's probably slow. It's a VL, right? <laughs> that blue three head gasket's in a week trying to get that thing ready. Yep. But you know what is a lot cooler than this thing? Not this thing. This thing. Uh, look at this contraption. So we've got one tiny turbo where the exhaust goes through. It feeds the next... Wait, no, I've got it backwards. Wait, wait, wait. Why didn't you feed the air from the tiny turbo into the next turbo and then feed the air from the big turbo into the... What was the reasoning for the... Uh, I don't know. The boys looked it up and apparently that's how you do it. This really? And it works. It works. We had three of them and it built 30 PSI like straight away. Like crazy response. Like not the response you'd get on this motor with that rear housing. So it does it. That works. So I, I didn't real I didn't think about it that way. So this this turbo is essentially sucking and helping this turbo spool hey, faster. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna reveal everyone's cars because you know there's some big YouTubers here uploading some big content about their big car reveals. Big YouTubers. Big, big YouTubers. YouTubers. But Okachan's here and he's driving this thing and I'm oh look, there he is. Sumimasen. <laughs> Ohio. We're very happy. No, no, no. Komawa. Komawa. <laughs> so, Jason also has his fleet of four door Skylines. Again, not going to say who's driving what. I don't want to reveal any surprises. Can you guess which one Kalech driving? Look, check this out. Four door, four door, four door. This one's my favorite. Not going to show who's driving it. Not going to show who's driving it. Look at how sick this thing looks. I'm like anti R33 sedan, probably my least favorite of any Skyline ever made. But this thing, it looks like a four-door S14. Yeah, it's super cool. Because these cars suck. Dude, they're so suck. ugly stock. They're so ugly stock. It is the worst car that I would ever want to own. This one looks cool, and I think the wing helps it a lot, too. Yeah, because the, the wing, like, Stretches gives it, it out. gives it a little bit of, like, S14 vibes, maybe. Yep. The, the side profile of the car isn't bad, but it's usually the butt that sucks. Yeah, yep. Look at that fitment. I know. To rip those guards off. Mad Mike made the trek over from New Zealand as well, brought out the NA3 rotor MX5. This thing is sick and it sounds insane. The Mucka Motorsports also brought out their six rotor FD and this thing is insane. Did you hear it? Yeah, it blew my eardrums out. I was in another room and it's, I could I still- I you, remember? <laughs> I always forget when you go places with me. I know. You were in Germany with me? Look at this thing. It's crazy. This thing is unbelievable. I love how far back it is too. Yeah. Because it's not a novelty. This thing probably is gonna drive also, amazing. the engine's like six feet long. It has to be that far back, probably. Also six figures. Six fingers? Figures. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely six figures. Then Billet Johns. That is crazy. This thing is so cool. What are those things? Those levers. Wow, What? Oh, oh mother. That's sick. Bar. That's so yeah. cool. Hell yeah. Is that like, that's like dirt track stuff? Sick. I love that. That's crazy. On the fly sway bar adjustment. Yeah. Crazy. This spot is so cool. The what? This spot? Yeah. It's sick. I'm very excited to drive the out of this thing. <laughs> it's gonna be spicy enough to put it on some people's doors He's now. Ready. Not that it wasn't before, but before it's just like, I would have been the dude that brought the spoon to a knife fight, you know? Like, that's that's a little bit of exaggeration. Maybe like a fork. You can do a lot of damage with a spoon. You're not wrong. Yeah. I definitely had a spoon last round of LZ World Tour. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you did great though. Yeah. I had a knife at the last one. 
<laughs> now, I've, now I've got like a. You got a spork. No, this is this is a knife. <laughs> this is definitely a knife. I mean, compared yeah. to like someone other other people are driving, like they've got like a f bench made. This is like, this but is like good, a. Because there's no cheek ties this round. We're all on the same. We've got a big batch. We've got a whole container of these two six five things. What are they? They're Cheapies? called power tracks. I've never heard of them. But, yeah, um, yeah. Apparently they're good. They're just like a. I don't know, it's just yeah, normal road tire. So that is one thing I've noticed in Australia. The tires are way cheaper here. Is it because you guys don't have the China tax that we have? Possibly, yeah. Like, it's like the equivalent of what, like $60, $70 a tire? Where like, in the US, like a cheap drift tire is still like almost 100 bucks a tire. Yeah, it's crazy. We have like, I don't know if it's the China tax or if we have a specific tire tax, but that is what like makes it way more expensive for us. <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. It, sounded, I didn't even know how to, it sounded like it was at 10,000 RPM and then went another 10,000 more. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't even compare that to anything I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. It sounded like it was I've, at 10 and then it went to 20,000. I've heard some, it is literally, yeah. I've heard some crazy <laughs> videos do not do that justice. Amazing. Show off your beautiful <laughs> face. Just from existing around a burnout. Yeah. This is how dirty you get. Look at Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> yeah. That's a big box. Overnight DHL. I'm gonna probably end the video here because Tracy Grimshaw is on her way right now. Not stoked about this. Not stoked about this one bit. To be fair, I did want to do this in the middle of the street. I was heavily advised not to because if I wasn't able to go to my own event because I got arrested by the Australian police, it probably would look pretty bad. Anyway, excited you guys to see. Oh, I got to talk about the other car too. You guys have been asking a lot of questions about the Evo. We'll talk about it in the next video. Okay? I'll see you then. I need a spice.
spicier limiter, Jimmy. Can you help me out? That's all I do, buddy. 